Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, guys, this is Dream Home on a Budget. My goodness, it has been a while since we've uh, we posted any content. We've just been focusing on some other things. But anyways, guys, the, 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 the project is still moving forward. We are still uh, in the process of designing this place. Um, today is a kind of a unique adventure for us. We are uh, at a place called Authentic, as you can see it over my shoulder here. Um, really cool name i'm pr pretty sure you're thinking like what the heck is authenticus anyways look them up if you get a chance guys authenticus is a super super neat uh, uh business model what they do is they uh, have a huge warehouse space where they will project uh, they'll blow up your plans to life-size scale and they project them on the floor and on the wall so that you can see uh your plan in a in a full scale environment where you can walk walk your floor plan you can get a feel for your room sizes you can get a good good sense of the layout of the plan and understand how the, the different rooms interact with one another. Anyways, um, we are here today for a tour to see the facility and we do plan to come back and do a full scale, um, a full scale session with them where we they are going to blow up our plan for us and they'll show us uh, our, our plan in life size scale. But anyways, guys, before we get into that, do me a huge favor, uh, tap that like button for me. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, guys. Uh, but we'll turn the camera around, and we'll go inside, and we'll show you what uh, what they do here at Authenticus, okay? See you inside. See you inside. Hey, how you doing? Good. You want big water? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, if you don't mind, I appreciate it. This place is nice, man. It's a great presentation for your clients. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably see a lot of upscale clients. Yeah. yeah. Well, we also do full immersive events. Here. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. So. Wow. So, based on what you sent me, I okay. have you know just a floor plan and recycling. Okay. Uh, beautiful house, by the way. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Have you started any elevation? We have yet? not. Okay. We have not, yeah. We could also display those. Okay. Now, I do recommend that you do walk this sooner than later. Right. Um, but the whole purpose of this um, is to feel. So all these props are allowing us to stage each room. Yes. So we can stage whatever room you want, okay. put all four walls in it with the furniture, and so you can spatially feel. Mm -hmm. And so, so that's kind of one of the things that we do here. And yes. then if we have the side elevations, we can display those. Everything to scale. So the walls, um, if you had interior section rooms or something that we can show ceilings. Okay. Our software allows us to do a lot of other neat things in the process. So right. this becomes a full working session. Okay. Because we want to give you essentially validation that this is exactly this is exactly how you want it to feel. Mm -hmm. There's a specific room you want to see real quick. I know you can kind of walk around looking. You think maybe the master? I know yeah, it's, the master's not currently projected right now. I think we're yeah, we got the yeah, we're living room. Oh yeah, kitchen. Uh, yeah, kitchen. <laughs> the whole house, man. We talking about the whole house? Okay, here's our dining room. Okay. Kitchen, washing dishes here, turn around, stove. Oh yeah, this is roomy right here. This is roomy, there's lots of room between the stove and the sink. So here, I'll show you one example of how the plank, just like this is- It's a little okay. tight right here though, but. Table okay. For the island. Oh, um, really? I think it's the back 
this will still be a good quick representation. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can see how the projection ends up becoming more of a, our template. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's me a perfectly aligned hit, and you can see it's all the scale. And then I just line it here. Mm -hmm. Now you can feel. You can feel, yeah. Right? You could be standing here, I could be standing here, we're not touching butts. Yeah. This is great. Exactly. My yeah. wife would love this. And we, we definitely, yeah, because our place now is it's a bit tighter, I'll just say that. Yeah, in our kitchen. We have an island, and it's a little, little, little bit tighter. This hallway. This is this the that's the hallway. Yeah, that's coming from the garage here. So how this works right here. Oh. And boom. There you go. Wow. Look at that. We're in the garage now. Okay. Oh yeah. So you're coming into the garage. Wait, wait, where are Yeah, we're in the garage. You come. Just to give you a perspective. We were just seeing like Yep. Okay, where am I? Nah, yeah, you gotta kind of talk it through because people get quickly like. Nah, as soon as soon as I saw the car, I knew we were in the garage. So, yeah, so this is. This is where we were standing. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So this is the this is the mud area coming out coming in off the garage. Wait. It's the prep kitchen. Okay. This is. Yeah, this is the the dirty kitchen, whatever you want to call it, oh, working okay, working okay, pantry. Okay. Yeah, here's, so here's, here's the here's the uh, mud area here with the cabinet, coat closet cabinet, whatever, and then here's. Yeah. You had to say something. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Steven, Steven and I were like, really? A yeah. Costco door? Okay. So this is the hallway going to the, to the, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is the hallway going to the, to the kids, the kids, area. the kids area where the game room is. I like it. We decided to go five foot. Well, did we do five or six on the hallways? I think we five. did five. Yeah, because we, we, they were four two at first, which I think Stephen was like kind of like a standard. It's four foot two, and we were like, man, we walked a couple homes, and we were like, man, four, four seems really tight. So we, we decided to go with the with the five on uh, all all the hallways, and it, it feels a lot it feels a lot nicer. Okay. The five, and this is the washroom, utility room. Okay. The master. Okay. He's gonna move to the master. Oh. Now you're in the master. How would you like to get the master? Look, look, there's my closet. Wait, hold on. It's right there on the floor, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, this so this is his closet. This is my closet. This is your closet. Which obviously is bigger. Uh, yeah, here's, okay, then let's walk out into the, the okay, here, oh, okay, yeah, so here's, 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 here's your sink. Here's my sink. Oh, that's cool. It's styrofoam. Yeah. I was, I was thinking, man, you guys ought to have, like, fake furniture. It's easier to move around. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Some cases. Some cases, yeah. So this is her sinks. Okay. The cabinets. Yeah. Uh, here, here's the wash area over here. A little small wash area. Yep. And then shower. I mean, that's, there's, yeah, my toilet. There's your shower. I mean, our shower. Yeah, this shower is big. This shower is definitely big. There's, there's the, the rain, the rain head, two, yeah. two rain heads. Yeah, this is roomy. This is what we wanted. Yeah, man. It's good. We're all working here. Yeah, yeah, this is roomy. This is exactly what we wanted. Like, okay. Yeah, and then. Yeah, you got the full car wash going in here. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Literally, that's, and that was what we wanted was a car wash, yeah. car wash out. Okay, this is perfect. So this is this is our vanity, our sinks, our vanities here, and then this is the space between the tub, which we were that was some one, one of the things that we really were talking about, making sure we had ample room. Well, that's why I mocked this up because that was my first concern when yeah. I first saw it, and I was like, okay, now that it's mocked up, it's, it, yeah, it feels better. Yeah. Yeah. And mind you, this could even still go back depending on. You know how close you want. Oh right. Because right. right now he's got a shelf there. Right. You could have it closer to like. Where is the shelf? The shelf. Right the shelf right here looks like right here. That's what it looks like maybe. Yeah. So well, so part over. of it is a wall. Yeah. This part, is this is a wall. Yeah. But this will be a niche. Oh. Right yeah. There. Correct. Yeah. So we can bring that back. Yeah. Well, and, and it all depends on the tub that you pick. Yes. Yes. But I see I moved it back six inches. 
right up almost almost to the edge. This all will be determined based on the tub. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you get a bigger one, that's a single person tub. So if you exactly. Double, yeah. Now that's cool. That's cool. And then, like I said, yeah, th this is really helpful to to be able to see the space between here. Um, Cause we, we walked some homes. Yeah, I mean that, well, you know, architecture, man, I, I, for me, it just, it just eats at my soul when I see something that's, that's not symmetrical on a plan. You know what I mean? And so. I, I, I'm the same way. Yeah. I notice it right away and I'm like, I see symmetry. Yeah, exactly. Some people, like, when you got one that's really symmetric, Yeah. So yeah. So we well, there was a couple non-negotiables. Like we had to have the his and hers closets. The, the his and hers toilets was was something that we just had to have. Uh, got yeah. We got a little mini washroom. Uh, we we were starting to see this a lot in in custom homes. People starting to do that. So we were like, okay, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then. It was in my closet. Then there's our bar, our little mini bar in the hallway. Yeah, because that was. That was something that our our actually our builder he suggested it. Uh, Joe, he suggested. Yeah, that's nice. um, I coffee yeah well. It could be a hybrid. A coffee bar, right? Yeah, yeah. That that was, you know, middle of the night. You, you know, you're you're parched or something. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And you fix yourself a drink. Um, we thought that was a good idea to add that. Oh, this oh, this the hallway. Okay, yeah. It's a good walk. Please. We don't want to encroach on our time, so so keep keep me keep me honest on the time. What time is it? It should be It's five fifty eight. Yeah. Okay. That's the hallway. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. So this is the actual master. Okay. So this is something we 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 thought about and thought about and thought about too. Yeah. The size. This is seventeen by twenty, I think. Um. And we we went up we went up a little bit from where it was, and I think yeah this this feels good yeah 17 by 20 fireplace and we added windows. Is it a double side fireplace? One? It is a double side. Okay. It is a double side. So technically this this is our patio. This is our patio right here. So our our master overlooks the patio, and then you got a window there, a window there, double sided fireplace. Then you then you uh, you got windows here look, looking towards the backyard and then this this door over here takes you to the patio so if you want to go to your patio from your master you, you come out this door here and now you're in the patio I don't know if it's gonna I don't know if it's gonna be see-through but it, it'll be a double-sided fireplace yeah see something like that we I'd probably ask a suggestion like I probably well, and, and I'm, I'm looking at the space and the reason I'm asking all this double-sided fireplace that that's the right size if it's two fireplaces back to back that's going to grow that a little bit. oh the wall will be and the only reason i was even asking i love double-sided fireplaces but i don't know if you want to have a double-sided fireplace for the master bedroom see-through correct see-through and correct. steven did note on there see-through fireplace so, so that's really up to y'all that's a good point and i don't know who y'all have staying in the house with you but <laughs> yeah that, that's a good point that's a good point see all right on that from that part of the house looking this way would be our kids our kids bedrooms in uh in the game room like their play area their flex room area but that's a good that's a good point a see-through fireplace seeing through your bedroom is probably not the best idea so in in it probably would be like two maybe two fireplaces back to back maybe yeah. so the you could do a but then it kind of a see-through fireplace but it'd be on the ground well i think that's what we were probably thinking was on the ground but then it's kind of almost pointless to have a see-through yeah true 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 yeah <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll 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 need to work that out so when, when we book our 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 real session steven well, hopefully steven will want to come and he'll come with he'll come with us and we can walk through stuff like that we can talk about that but that's a that's a great suggestion i didn't hadn't really thought about that um but you know this 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 feels good Cathedral ceiling there, hallway. Man, these six these six foot these six foot uh walls are thick. I didn't realize they were that thick. It's two by it's a two by six construction, so um it feels like a two by eight. It, it it feels like a two by eight, doesn't it? Like that one feels like it's thicker than, than yeah, two by six. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe maybe just for this hallway, maybe that's what it is, but 
I mean, even even looking at some of these over here, these these feel a little bit more realistic. I don't know why he did this. I guess he did based on looking at that. Probably did. Get right. That that is pop. that that makes sense. It could have been that. That distance and this distance. So if this came back to here, uh -huh. then this is now. Oh, you're right. Slightly off. Yeah, because that's six right there. This is like I say. This is probably eight. Yeah. So it just depends on. Yeah. Yep. Maybe okay. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say, I, I can't remember if this is gonna be an arch or this is just an opening with no, okay, yeah. Are you doing uh, just an opening there too? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And I'm thinking about doing, this, I'm, I don't like the tree what, in here. What, 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 I'm thinking the, about doing a, just the, the regular. Coffer. What do you think about the coffer, man? Give me no. your screen in the back. I, it all depends on what you do in the coffer. Okay. And the look that you're going for. Like, I'm going for a modern, so I'm thinking about doing Either barrel, like a big barrel, or just a little I'm, I'm thinking. I'm barrel thinking. would be hard to do in here. You could still do it. Could. You could, but you'd have, so the barrel would, you'd have to do it this way. Or if you did a barrel, then you'd have to do it just here. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah I, I'm thinking flat. I'm thinking just, because this, this is supposed to be, uh, a mini wall, I guess, and then glass here. The same thing here, like a wall to about, I guess, maybe right there, and then so and then glass. Modern, then you could do this as a very subtle ceiling with clean lines, you know, very that's sharp, clean lines. Yeah. Don't put trim in it. Right. Like that. Yeah. That's what I was. I was thinking. Like, I'm probably gonna get rid of this trim. Get rid of the bottom. I have a seat. I mean, it really, yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice, subtle detail. And, you know, it adds a nice little touch to the bathroom. But it depends on what your focal focus wants to be. If you want your focal to be this wall right here behind the tub because it's such a decorative focal point, and you have a beautiful hand chandelier hanging above this, obviously these are going to be done nice. You probably have maybe the towers or yeah. like that. So it's, it's all going to be very pretty. Sit, sit there. Sit, up, sit in our shower seat. Yeah. That thing is huge. You have, see how big that the closet? I mean, not closet, but that shower is. Holy cow! I mean, I knew it was you know sizable, but I didn't realize it was that big. So if I'm sitting here, wow, that's a stretch. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, I, if I you, think if you need to shave some off the house, there's plenty of areas to shave. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So my background, I used to be a custom builder. I did that for about 15 years. And it was just an ongoing issue every single time. I tried, I thought I was a good job explaining it at this phase in, this, in, in the, right before contract and you know, in design and essentially being as black and white as I could on building specs and just like, hey, you got it? Hey, sign off, cool. You know, every single time in the custom house there was always something. Sometimes it was big, sometimes it was small. Right. Um, but obviously the big ones, sometimes it could be the builder or architect's fault. Sometimes right. it's a client that just didn't, just didn't you know. know. Right. Right, they're like, I didn't think it was gonna look like that. I, They're not an expert reading plans, and so they, anyways. Oof. Yeah, so, we, we got burned with that once before. Yeah. On a house we designed, yeah. And so, this is to help that. And and it's not just this, it's, it's all of our services. So that, Hopefully, there's no mystery. We remove all mystery from the whole construction process because you can, one, feel. And that's the difference between this and virtual reality. Right. The virtual reality, which I'll, I'll show you, um, some of our little toys, is great for visualizations, right? You're gonna be able to see every corner and walk virtually right. your house. Okay, great, you can see it, but you still can't feel it. Right. right. So how can you feel how close you are to something yep. in virtual reality? Yep. And so that was where this comes in. I'll start here and then I'll go to life size. But so it's kind of cool because you, this is where I'm, I mean, I'm not joking. Like you can literally get into every corner of wow, your house. That is detail right there. You know what I mean? You can yeah. see 
where your potential future issues would end up being, right? Right. For example, eh, that one's okay. This one's not okay. What do I mean? Sorry, I'm just the builder in me. So this one, you would need to build a cricket right here. Yeah. Because water would just Potential infiltration. Yep. Yep. So anyway, so that's kind of one thing. And then you can peel back the layers. You oh. can kind of start seeing your attic. You can go into the second oh, wow. floor, back in there. You can zoom in, kind of see different parts of the house. So that is dollhouse version. Now let's walk it. And this is a finished one, right? I'll show okay. you the grayscale, but the finished one, obviously this is the detailed one. All right, so now we're standing in front of the house. I'm gonna first move my fingers because I don't want to walk all of it right now. Drop it to the right height. And now I can, so now if I don't touch it, in fact, if I just go to view, it won't move. And now I can walk. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I can even look under the furniture. Are you serious? That is cool. <laughs> you know? Wow. So you can now start walking around and looking at everything. Ceiling? So, oh wow! So what's cool is like if you were out at your lot out there, uh -huh. you could look. You would there. be able to look out the windows wow. and see your future views. And as a builder, I think that was huge because especially if you have what you, looks like you do, right? You got a choice of where to put your house, even if it's a small adjustment. And if you're saying, hey, you know, like let's do the front door for instance. If I'm, I want, I want, I want to look at that. You know, right. So I need to tweak it just a little bit there, and now I'm looking at that. I see. And then I'll go to this. I'll make it semi-transparent, and then I'll kind of come over here because this is to scale too. And now I can see the real world and the virtual world, and I'll know that I need to put my stake right there. Wow. And so now I just did a what used to take me an hour or two to kind of measure and do line right. and string and all that. So, so that was kind of a construction thing. That That's did. cool. Yeah, well, we, I think we definitely want to want to uh, want to do that for sure. So we can do the. It and certainly the, helps to have a huge screen like that too, right? Yeah, yeah, iPad. Is that the biggest? Is that the biggest one they, they, this they make? Is, yeah, this is a twelve point nine. Um, at least the iPad. I, I don't know if the the Samsung makes something bigger. Or not. Um, but there's a couple other tools like you can peel back the layers also and just do the floor plan. Mm, okay. Oh, right. Okay. So you can do the floor plan out out there too on the lot. Right. But you can kind of pull that back. You can sit here and take pictures. If you hold it down, it'll record. Okay. And so you can sit there and now it's recording me, and so I can sit here and talk and go through it. Right. And as soon as I'm done, stop and then it saves. So it. the the all the interior pieces was that provided by the architect or is it you guys no the the interior designer interior gave design? it to us okay yeah, for this house okay so here let me just do a there's two ways that we're doing this now i'm going to show you so this one right here so this is just i'll zoom back out so you see how simple it is the it's just it's just the structure, Okay, right? just the structure, okay. And so what we did here is, and we did it with no flooring on this one, but what we would do, this is obviously your house, not right. this house, is I would sit here and I would line it up, and then it would just go with the rest of the floor. So then you can start uh, so walking the house and start seeing the rest of what's in there mm -hmm. for your right. house. So this is always based off of the time. Okay. So I don't care how long, we're in here sometimes. I've been in here for three days on one project. Wow. You know, with some clients. You're right. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, we know it's a big project, you know, so it's going to take a couple days. Uh -huh. um, but but most sessions, roughly around, say, this size of house, takes about two hours. About two hours, okay. That's about average. And uh, and so, I mean, you can kind of go try to go a little quicker, but there's always something. Right. And we try to help work it out. How long, how long have you guys been here? So it'll be three years. Um, as of uh, September. Okay. So, so it's still pretty new. Yeah. So here's another option that's very simple, roughly the same price point. So you can also, so this is the, like the virtual tour okay. of it. 
but we can also go two walkable. So now I'm able to walk it. Uh, but this one's a little different because they have, you see how the plans are kind of like on there? Oh yeah, I see, okay. So, so we do both. Um, this is, like I said, this is a little bit new. This, this right here, just full disclaimer, this is not our technology. Okay. This is a company that we have just partnered with that we're bringing to the U.S. Um, we're calling this our um, uh, XR Suite, XR Suite. Uh, Extended Reality, because what I showed you, like, so that was, so our app, you know, technology, I mean, is just augmented reality. Right, right. Right, I give you a QR code, you have it on your phone, you can use it wherever you want, it's just that. I see. We have virtual tours that are just virtual tours. Got it. This is a, you know, what I just showed you a little bit ago is is a whole platform. Yes. It's all the technologies combined, but with a CRM and, you know, all the bells and whistles, mostly, focused on like the production builder okay. market. Yeah. Right. And so, yeah, so that that's what this is. Um, Interesting, okay. So anyways, uh, because we can now offer this service because this company is just technology. We're, we're technology and service. I see. So we have our own technology, but now we're partnering with them on their technology to bring it to the US. Right. Like this right here is ran by a software. Okay. So we have our own proprietary software right. that we can license. We also, our app, again, proprietary. So we have a couple of services that are proprietary. Some of them are not. We're just partnered with different companies. Point is, we became a whole visualization uh, services for you know, construction and real estate. I love that. And, uh, and so, because we have the suite of services, it, it's an all, you know, all encompassing, you know, one-stop shop kind of place. Mm -hmm. And you know now there is some competition doing some things, not like what we are, but right. there's a couple other companies out there in the world that are doing just projecting plans. You ever thought about offering like a sus subscription service? Well, I mean, yes, because that's what investors like to hear. Okay, right. <laughs> so we're actually, that's what this platform I just showed you okay. is gonna be a subscription um, based. And so now we're, we're actually, we're gonna we're gonna put things into packages. People like packages mm -hmm. and, and simpler packages. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, we appreciate you showing us around, man. This, this so place is fa you. fantastic. Thank you for we, coming. We up. Serve, yeah, we enjoyed every minute of it, man. We will get out of your hair, and we'll we'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank you. Yeah. Have a we'll be in touch. are thinking about building a custom home on your own definitely use this is the service you definitely want to use yes. yes because you want to be able to get the feel of your space from the front door to the back door that's right that's as right. far as how big the rooms are how much space you have in between i mean just the full detail yep. definitely mm -hmm. like yeah yep. Yep. if we could have did this We've been on man. Oh man, that would have yeah, that, that would have saved us some heartache. Exactly. And headaches. I yeah. mean and and they even have an option where you can actually look at your ceiling treatment. So if you don't like the ceiling treatment yep. that you have, I mean you have it's right there. You tell take it off. I don't mm -hmm. want it. You, you you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. So. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. technology. All right guys, so um that was super cool. You heard my wife. You know, if you guys are thinking about building a home, a custom home, you definitely got to add this to your process, right? Because this is going to help you out tremendously. Uh, we are super excited about our, our appointment that we got booked in a couple weeks. We're going to hopefully be able to come back with our architect so the three of us can walk it together, architect and clients. And uh, hopefully this, this will be a, a super cool experience. Looking forward to it. Anyways, guys, we appreciate you watching the video. Uh, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button for me if you haven't already. And then of course, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, guys. We will see you on the next one, all right? Take care, bye.